Hello my friends, in this video we're gonna create this amazing 3D sphere animation with just vanilla JavaScript. So let's get it started. Well, I'm gonna create a new folder and I rename it with 3D Sphere Animation Vanilla JavaScript. I open this with Visual Studio Code. Yes. All right. In here, I create an index file, index.html. Also, I create a style file, style.css. Also, I create a script.js file. All right. In the index file, I just put an exclamation mark and I hit tab. I put the title and also I link the CSS file and I link my script file, script.js. So in here, in the body tag, I just want to add a main wrapper a main dash wrapper and in the main wrapper I just want to add a div with class sphere wrapper all right so I type dot sphere wrapper I hit tab and we're done with our HTML can you believe that we're gonna create this amazing animation with just JavaScript so I'm gonna add some style so first of all i'm gonna delete all the default styles of the browser so i set padding zero margin zero and box sizing border box all right after that i say body height 100 vh overflow hidden and background I just want to add a random background color, no difference, whatever works for you would be okay. All right. So I say main wrapper, display flex, position absolute, transform style, preverse 3D and perspective would be 400 pixel in set would be zero and align item center justify content center i'm just gonna add our animation in the right so we can see it i came back to our index.html and i go live with this file so we can see it i back in the style file i hit save now it's time for our sphere wrapper dot sphere wrapper i say transform style perceive 3d with 300 pixel height 300 pixel position relative animation rotate 3d 15 second liner infinite we're just gonna create this rotate 3d in a second so i say dot plane position would be absolute transform style would be perceived 3d and inset would be zero so maybe you're just asking yourself that we don't have a div with class of plane so why i add this because we're gonna create all over the divs with our script so when we're done with our styles we're gonna create our divs with javascript so don't worry about that so i say that is spoke transform origin 0, 00 transform style perceive 3d position absolute left 50 percent 
top 50%, height 200 pixel with zero. Now I say dot dot position absolute with six pixel height six pixel border radius 50 percent and left minus three pixel and top 100 percent and transform rotate x 90 degree all right now it's time to add our animation so i say keyframes and I copy this name, I paste it here, I say 0% and I add transform rotated 3D, I say 1, 1, 1 and 0 degree. I'm gonna copy this and paste it here, I set in 25% transform rotate 3d 111 and 90 degree i'm just gonna copy it again and paste it here in 50 percent it's gonna be the same although i add 180 degree i copy this again i paste it here i say in 75 percent degree would be 270 degree i just copy this again and i paste it here i say in 100 percent degree would be 360 degree all right now it's time to add our pulse keyframe i say keyframes pulsate I say in 0% transform rotate x 90 degree also I add scale 0.3 and also I add translate z 20 pixel I copy this again and paste it here and I say in 100% transform rotate x would be the same scale would be one and rotate z would be zero all right we're done with our styles but we can't see anything yet because we don't have our div in here and we're just gonna add our divs with javascript so let's get started so first of all i say let x equals to 1 and I say while x less than or equals to 12 we're gonna add some code in here so I say let plane equals to document dot create element we're gonna create a div so I say plane dot class name equals to backtick plane plane dash dollar x so we're gonna create a div with class a plane and a plane with just gonna increase the number of with our number in here okay now i say plane dot style dot transform equals to backtick rotate y and i say i add another x in here multiple 15 and i say degree all right we add our transform now it's time to add this div to our document so i say document dot query selector i say dot sophia wrapper and i say append child which child this child this plain child that we just created 
all right i hit save although in here we have to say x plus plus so i hit save again if i go to our inspect we can see now we have some div in our sphere wrapper div plane plane one plane two plane three and with this while we can create 12 plane rotate y and you can see the animation but we can't see anything yet so in here after this i'm just gonna add a 4 y equals to 1 and y less than it and equals to 36 and y plus plus so with this 4 we're gonna just create our spoke and our dot so I'm gonna say let spoke equals to document dot create element another div I say spoke dot class name equals to backtick spoke and spoke dash dollar y and I say spoke dot inner html equals to backtick so in here I'm just gonna add a div with class of dot also I'm gonna add some style to it I say style equals to background color and I say background color equals to I'm gonna put an if statement in here I just say y percent 2 equals to 0 and I'm just gonna add a color in here 0 0 f f f a and if our statement returns false I'm just gonna add another background and I say f f nine eight zero zero also I'm just gonna add an animation and I say animation pulsate 0.5 second and an infinite I say another function in here that we're just gonna create in a second I say animation delay or a delay and I pass it y in here after that I say second and I say alternate although I I should put this after in here and I say second alternate and both so after that I close our div and now we're done with inner HTML in here after that I say spoke dot style dot transform equals to back take rotate Z I just add our Y in here and I say zero deck and I say document dot query selector and I just add another backtick in here I just say plane dash dollar x dot append child spoke all right I hit save now uh, we can't see because I have to make this function so I copy this and in here I say function a delay so I'm gonna add a switch in here and I say T in here I say case 1 and case 35 after that I say return 0 0.5 I hit save and I delete this break I copy this and I paste it here I say case 2 
34 and I say 1 basically we're gonna just create a switch statement with our delay animation so I have to do it in this way I copy this again and I add it in here I say 4 34 and in here I just gonna say 0.2 after that this would be 5 this would be 33 and this would be 0.25 I'm just gonna add it in this way and after that I will back all right guys I add all of this but remember in the case 18 we just add 0.95 and we in case 36 we return 0 and in case default we return 1 so I hit save and now it's not working I go to our console all right at a delay all right we just have to put T in here I hit save again okay now we can see our amazing animation as always guys you can play around with this and you can see what's going on in there if I go to our inspect I can see that we are just create all of these divs with just javascript and now we can play around with this look if I say maybe rotate 15 multiply 15 see what's happened our animation change see or maybe I can change our div in here I say for example 100 and I hit save and we have a lot of dots in here okay and maybe in here we just multiply it in two and see what's happening here all right guys you can play around with this and have fun i hope you enjoyed this tutorial see you soon